Hey everyone, it's Marella Manelli, and today I'm going to show you how to do highlights using minimal foiling but with a maximum impact using all Kenra Professional hair color. So stay tuned and check it out. I'm starting out by taking a horseshoe shaped section but with a zigzag parting on the exterior using the arch of the eyebrow as a guide and this parting on the top is going all the way back to the apex of the head. I then take the same zigzagged parting towards the sides from the apex all the way down to behind the ear and make sure to securely clip that section away. For this project, I'm using Kenra Professional Simply Blonde Beyond Bond Lightener at a one to two mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. To get started, I'm going to start right on the top front to create that money piece by combing the hair away from her face and bringing down a baby light towards the face. I'm going to apply my lightener just a few inches away from the root area and then continue to stroke it up and apply and make sure to thoroughly saturate from the roots all the way down to the ends. A little tip is when working with really long hair is to make sure when you are applying your lightener and you want to fit it all in the same foil is to fold over the ends right on top instead of swishing it around in a circle. This is going to make sure you get an even saturation of the product, meaning even lift. After this first foil, I'm then going to apply another baby light right behind it, still brushing the hair away from the face and bringing that baby light right on down and still doing the same application as the very first foil. This technique is going to give you that money piece highlight that all your clients are asking for in a really quick and easy application. In general, I will do about three to five foils right here on the front hairline, depending on how bold your client wants that money piece. For that third section, I'm then taking an eighth inch subsection and heavily weaving it, creating a little bit of a background there. And I'm applying my product still four inches away and stroking it up. But this section is going to have a little bit more root than those first two front sections since I took the lightener all the way to the root. Now for the sides, I'm going to focus on baby lighting that hairline so I'm still brushing the hair away from the face and bringing those highlights forward and taking the lightener again all the way to the root and the reason for this is because typically people wear their hair either away from their face or even towards their face and they really like to see that blonde and brightness right around the hairline. For the remainder of the side section, I am going to take diagonal forward sections. Now this is just a way for me to quickly apply a pop of blonde that's going to be visible but also transitional and diffused depending on how they wear their hair. So I'm taking a slice and I'm heavily teasing it, giving that illusion of a rooted baby light. And that's really why I love this technique as well. So I can get that nice pop of blonde, but it's also nicely blended and diffused. And I love taking the diagonal forward sections because if they wear their hair forward, we're going to see a little bit more soft contrast. And if they wear their hair away from their face, it's going to give a much more blended effect. To make this technique really quick, I'm only adding in three foils throughout this side section. And now I'm going to transition to completing the top by taking horizontal sections. These sections were created by taking a zigzag parting and then slicing that section and still heavily teasing. It's going to create more of a diffused slice towards the top and then also give me that rooted effect since we are teasing. To make this a quick service, I'm only going to be applying three foils to this side of the top section. Now if you wanted more brightness and more pop of blonde, you can certainly add more foils. Each of my subsections are about a half inch wide and zigzagged, sliced, and teased. The whole point of this technique is to make this as quick as possible but still allowing you to have the maximum impact with those slices that we're taking 
but this is where you're getting that nice soft diffusion with that zigzag parting and that teased effect. Now that her foils are completely in, she only has about 13 foils, which makes this technique really quick and easy. Once she's done processing, we're gonna shampoo her out with Kenra Professional Prime Shampoo and Conditioner, and then get ready to do her final glaze. To make this service even more quick and easy, I'm gonna be using Kenra Color Demi Permanent SV Rapid Toner 1 to 2 Mixing Ratio with 9 Volume Developer. I'm starting off by applying right onto the hairline and getting this color on really quickly. And the reason is, is because this toner works in under five minutes. I chose SV Rapid Toner because it cuts all of the gold and yellow tones on levels eight or above. And since we got this mannequin to a nice solid level eight, this is the perfect toner to help remove all of that brass. There's also no need to apply a shadow root or color melt formula because of the way we applied our highlights. Since we did those teased and rooted baby lights and slices, this is gonna give you the nice, perfect blend of natural color right into that nice pop of blonde towards the ends. Once she was done processing after five minutes, I shampooed and conditioned her out with Kenra Platinum prime shampoo and conditioner and then got ready to do her final styling with one of my favorite styling products which is Kenra Platinum blow dry spray and then just did a really quick rough dry to get her 100% dry with a wet brush and a blow dryer. Once the hair was about 90% dry I took a wide round brush and my blow dryer just to help smooth and curl those mids and ends. To complete her style, I took Kenra Platinum Hot Spray and applied some curls using a one and one quarter inch Marcel iron. And I do this by taking two inch wide sections and spraying my product evenly throughout the hair and brushing it through and then curling the hair starting at the base and slowly feeding the ends right into the iron. I make sure to apply my hot spray to each and every section before I apply the curling iron. So this is just gonna allow for a nice even saturation and distribution of the product and giving me the maximum long lasting hold that this product will provide me. Once I was done curling her hair, I just lightly finger combed the curls out and then finished her off with one of my favorite hairsprays which is Kenra Volume Spray 25. So a little quick tip is if you want to get maximum volume out of this spray just lightly finger fan and spray. And here's the final result on how to highlight hair with minimal foiling but maximum impact. So just to recap, I went in with her highlights using Kenra Professional Beyond Bond Lightener at a one to two mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. And then after processing, I went in with Prime Shampoo and Conditioner and then glazed her with Demi Permanent and SV one to two mixing ratio with nine volume developer and processed her for five minutes. And for her final styling, we went in with Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray hot spray, and then finished her off with volume spray 25. Now I really hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial and if you did give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, check out my other hair tutorials on my channel and until next time.